Hey everybody, so now I'm in Samara. And as you know, I'm going to take a visit to my nephew Miron in Taliati, my hometown. But on the way to Taliati, I decided to stop in Samara for a few days, maybe for one day, but I don't know yet, to see my friends and to show you around a little bit. Basically, Samara. The most interesting thing about Russia, you know, smaller cities, in, I mean, not Moscow, in St. Petersburg, in Sochi, is the people. Because in Moscow, everything is very expensive, everything is very, you know, important, everybody is very busy. But here, a lot of people you know, just having a lifetime. And we will try to share some of this time with them, and I hope you like it. And welcome to our video blog. Stairs. We need to get inside. Yeah, yeah. Some of you might think that living in Samara is scary, but it's not. Yeah, Chicago. <laughs> Working, but so I decided to take take fifth floor and go downstairs instead of going up. It's what we call a smart decision. So we're going downstairs, and you're going to meet my friend Andre, greatest buddy in Samara. We're about to go with my friend Andre. We have a car, so he will take us to the interesting place but before we go he had a good party yesterday so he needs to do one thing so it's like alco tester fuck this fuck fuck did you see this look at this how they think of the job good good it's all good yeah we can go safely My friend, Andre, is very uh, professional at the high-tech things. So, and even in the car... Uh, Alice, can you be quiet, please? Okay, so his car has special options. Please turn on Metallica Hero of the Day. Oh my god, high technology. My friend here, Andre, is like very good at it. So, for me, it's uh, like a magic. Magic. Samara is quite a beautiful city for a walk, but there is not many streets and also not many tourists here. And my friend Andre took me to the like uh, a kind of art bar in Moscow. What is your best uh, favorite place in Samara? Bar? Oh, all bar. Favorite place of Andre in Samara is like bars, and I like do understand him. Which one of the best? Best Zikulovsk beer. So this is the place and uh, it's truly one of the best I've ever tasted and uh, it's still so. When I was a kid, when I was like very young, it was our favorite beer, you know, and sea bottom. And now, 20 years after I came back here and you know what? Perfect. Sorry. You want to get friends with some Russian guy or a girl maybe it's better to go you know in Samara for example to meet somebody and to have interesting experience and get involved into the Russian lifestyle see you around if, if somebody decided to go to Russia what is the most important thing to take a beautiful smile so if you come into Russia take some money and I don't have money but I have a smile Samara is one of the best cities in Russia in 
summer period of time and I'll show you why now in winter but I will come back here maybe in a half year maybe in a few months to show you around like in a proper way but now just you know my little diaries about uh, what it's like and this is a there is a river so no sea here so it's a riverside in Samara and uh, the rivers over here is Volga as you know probably and on the other side there is like a natural places uh, like a nature side and uh, to be honest my advice to you if you have a big trip in Russia try to make it in a summer period and if it's uh, like a winter time and you have you know like a special uh, experience specific experience then Samara and Taliati is definitely not those places you need to go So this is Volga pop style and if you'll be somewhere in Russia, try to get such kind of experience. It's a normal thing for Russian kitchen, like a musician and a party is too cold outside. So we're heading out right here. That is, is exactly how it looks like. And there was like a guy playing and there is a second hall. Valera. Say hello. hello. This is the guy who is playing the drum machines. And this is the second room. I don't know for what. But you can stay, take a look at the window. This is Samara. So my trip in Samara is about to get to an end. So I'm moving to my nephew in Toliati. See you around friends. Hi everybody! I'm talking like a poo from Simpsons, you know. Today we are at the dacha in Taliati. Dacha is like, you know, outdoor house, like house outside the city. All the Russians love dacha. You have some vegetables and fruits in the summertime. And you know, you're just chilling with your family or friends here, drinking something, eating fried meat, like uh, barbecuing and yeah. This is my fr uh, brother's dacha. My, I have all the brother's stuff. Who have a son whose name is Miron, my nephew. And we've been trying to pick a present for him, but didn't buy anything in the end. This thing, sweetie thing from Tula. Tula is a city, also in Russia. A good one, I'll show you, uh, maybe. When you go on outside, it's very important to take uh, extra warm boots, such as Valenki, because it's snowy outside and it's cold, and if you get your uh, feet Okay, so let me show you how the banyas look like and what you need to do to... Ooh. The hardest part is to get to it, because outside it's very cold. And uh, you don't have, you have to, like, you know, avoid of showing this to you. You gotta be like a man in Russia. Hard one. Even if you are skinny as me, you have to look like you're not cold at all. <sighs> Nobody around. Probably the camera will get, you know, the, the steam will get inside, you know, like... So I'm not able to film in the banya, but uh, I'll show you a few tricks later. That is exactly what can happen to the camera inside of the steaming room, so... But here I am. I'm not freezing anymore. I think I need to drink before I can do it as myself, you know. That is way too 
Whoa, this is way too extreme for me. It's same as like like a ice shower, you know. So because your body is very warm, you cannot feel the cold anymore. So you can just like a shock therapy for your body, and it's very good they saying for the health. So that's what we're doing in the banas in Dutchess. Beer, shashlik, barbecue, and we'll do it again soon. I'll go back. See ya. Cheers. Love you. Do you love me? Did you subscribe our channel? Did you follow us? There is no hearts under the video. Why? Please press one. Just for me. Our day continues with the hockey game. Our friend playing in the, in the Russian uh, Hockey League playoffs. Hockey is one of the most popular sports in Kalyasa. Alexander Sorokin, our friend. Uh, and so we're supporting his team today. He's a defender. Quite good as a player. So yeah. I hope he'll get a, like a few body checks. Now he's alone against the players and yeah. a lot of motion. See you around. That's the guy. Hope I'll be able to meet him after the game and say hi. So today we're at a stand-up show, and I'm as a judge, as a jury. This is my notes, no focus. Yeah. And he's about to get up on a stage. Today we're going to a preschool baby thing, you know, I don't know. So you just bring your kids. So my nephew Miron is in, is in there, and we came here to pick him up. Yes, a few minutes ago, uh, Miron's parents, my brother and his wife, take a ride, and we decided to make a house party with my nephew. Say hello, Miron. Hello. And this is our little military house. So. That's the way we're playing. Miron. What do you think about Metallica? Like? Like? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. Miron, let's go. Playing in the yards, what can make a child happy? He won't come with us. I think they're going to attack me. Kate's playing in the backyard of the house. Lots of kids. It's getting dark, but they, you know, there's some parents on the streets and the others is watching from the windows, so and they know the neighbors know each other, so they trust their kids to the neighbors. Yeah, uh, they trust their kids for neighbors, and the there's a dog, friendly dog. Hey, no, this is my nephew. Whoa! <laughs> hey, hello, buddy. Hey, here we are. So now we're at St. Pete because I decided to make a short trip around Russia, you know. And I take a ride to Samara, Taliati, in St. Petersburg. And I show you around a little bit of it with my diaries, you know, with the cell phone. No professional shooting, just me and my cell phone and those cities. So it'll be, you know, a specific run, but I hope you'll like it. And... As always, subscribe our channel, press the like button, and put something onto the commentary line. So, oh, I need to change myself because it's dark and cold outside. Ooh.